comfortable out there last night? Is it about as, as good as you felt? Yeah, I mean, that game and the uh, Arizona game, I mean, I guess I just, I just like playing those games, you know, tough games, against great teams, things like that. So I just want to come out there and play well for the team and try to get a win. Do you think you shocked those fans there last night? Do you think they were kind of shot up expecting a victory? Uh, I mean, I think we shot them because, just because it's, you know, our uh, name in front of Jersey, Miami, they don't want to expect a lot from us. I mean, I, I don't think they thought it would be a pretty easy win for them, but I don't think they expected us to go out there and make a statement. Okay, have you been more aggressive, you think, with your overall game since Reggie went out? Especially, it seems like you know, the numbers lately have been really good. I mean, I have to be because, you know, Reggie was having a double double, and he's a big part of our offense. So now I gotta kind of take some of this, you know, the thing you do. And then Junior has been doing a great job, too. So, yeah, I try to stay aggressive, and that's the, that always been my game. I always try to be aggressive and get to the basket, shoot the ball. And I think I'm doing a better job on rebounding now. Right, you seem pretty jacked up over there on the bench during the game. Yeah, I mean, he was that up for the game. He, this is Reggie's personality. He's, he's a good guy, a guy who always talks. And, I mean, if, you, if you're doing something he doesn't like, he'll let you know. If you're doing something great, he'll let you know. So. People always talk about you know, your offensive ability, but you had some big blocks last night, too, especially uh, yeah. late. Well, I was, I remember the first one, I was the only one on defense, so I just shot, you know, Make a play on the on the ball, and I let them get a easy basket. So, I think we was up by six something like that. So mm -hmm. I wanted them to like turn it, and fortunately I got the blocks. Kenny, had you given much thought the last off season to turning pro early? Uh, not not really. Uh, I mean, I talked to Coach Al for like a day about it, and then I was like, no, I'm, I mean, I'm coming back. You know, I felt like. We could have a much better year as a team. And you know, Reggie was here, Durant was here, so I wanted to step there with these guys. How much of a desire do you felt this year to expand your game beyond being known as just the skilled jump shooting big man? Was that important for you yeah. to be known as other things? Yeah, because I know um, the the people who scouted me, the only thing I'm, I can shoot, you know, so people run running at me and stuff like that. So I had to walk my ball handling. Uh, rebounding and defense, things like that. So, if you don't shoot the ball well one day, you can affect the game like not in Felt so pretty good if you had that shot back at one point in the second half, drove down the lane, yeah. stuff it. Actually, it's, it's, I should give all thanks to Ralph because he sealed his man and like his guy couldn't get around. So, I was wide open, trying to dunk the ball. Kenny, at what point did you, at what point did you really truly feel that you guys were going to win that game? before we step on the court. Really? I, why why I, is that? I mean, just because of the things we've been doing as a team, you know, I knew that like we have we have a good team. I don't care what people say or what people think we have a good team, we can compete with those people and so I thought I really thought that we would be them by more points. Especially like after the like first half. I thought we would win by twenty. Really? Yeah. And after transferring here from, from UF, had you ever thought there'd be a time where you'd go into North Carolina and think you all would win a game by a big margin? Does that surprise you that that's happening? I mean, I'm not surprised about the win. I'm surprised by the way we play, you know, especially without Reggie. I mean, I thought it would be a drop off a little bit, but I mean, Julian's been doing a great job. Uh, Duran has been playing well, Shane has been playing well, and guys from the bench, you know. I mean, Ralph and Tanya for a freshman, she's doing great. So, I mean, it's not really the, the result, but like the way we're doing it. You talk about the team's defense. I mean, <clears throat> holding North Carolina to 59 points is, is a pretty impressive feat. I mean, we, that's what we were doing all summer. Defensive uh, things, and he wanted us to be light on our feet. That's why we work on conditioning, things like that. And I think we just... We're just doing a great job, you know, keeping people from either shooting the ball well or getting second chance of shots and stuff like that. 
You talking about Maryland? I mean, you don't really have that much time to enjoy the win over North Carolina, right, with Maryland coming in. Can you talk about that quick turnaround and what you're expecting Sunday? I know they're a pretty good team. I watched their first game against uh, Kentucky, mm -hmm. and they were looking pretty good. Alex Land is a pretty good player. We haven't watched him on them yet, but from what I saw last year, they beat us there last year, and it was a tough game here. They won the double overtime. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a good game. We, we got to come out ready. What was the mood in the locker room after the game? What was what did you guys talk about and right after the game last night? We were, um, people were pretty happy, except Coach Al, like He was like, <laughs> I mean, you have to expect to win. That's what he said. He said, I came back in the, at halftime and yeah, that's true because I expect to win. Like, we should get on the court and this shouldn't be like the biggest win for Miami. Like, this is a regular win against a good team and there's much more to come. Yeah, I noticed after the game, it's not like he wasn't, he was very, like, matter of fact, doing yeah. the handshakes and all that. He, he, like, he expects to win every game, so, I mean, when you win, it's good. When you lose, it's horrible, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. Thanks a lot, Kenny.